Hello everyone, I'm International Master Siddharth Ravi Chandran and welcome to Chess Hours. In today's video, we are going to focus on the opening principles and what you need to do if your opponent does not follow the opening principles. First, you occupy the center by pushing your pawns towards the center by playing e4 and then d4. Second, you try to develop your minor pieces towards the center. So you go knight f3 and then knight c3 and then bishop c4 and bishop f4 is possible. And you can see that your minor pieces are focusing towards the center. And the third point is you try to castle as quickly as possible. Why do you need to castle? Because you can see that your king is pretty safe. You can see that there are three pawns right in front of your king and they are defending your king from any sort of attacks. So it is always best to castle as quickly as possible. Because if your king is in the center, you can see that you have pushed both the pawns so your king is much safer when it has been castled. Point number four, you do not move the same piece twice in the opening. So let's say you have played e4, your opponent has played e5, played knight f3, attacking his pawn, he has played knight c6 and you played bishop b5. And if he plays a move like knight f6, then you should not waste time by moving the same bishop again or by moving the same bishop else. Instead of doing that, instead of moving your bishop, it is better to move or develop another piece. You can play knight to c3. But if your opponent has played a move like a6 and he is attacking your bishop, then you cannot say that I will follow the opening principles and I will not move the same piece. In this case, you have to move the piece again. So through common sense you move your bishop again so here it is totally justified and coming to point number five you should not bring your queen out too early in the opening say your opponent played e5 and you go d4 and he does pawn takes pawn and you do queen takes pawn in this case you can notice that he is able to develop his pieces much faster than you do because he gains tempo by attacking your queen and make let's say if you move your queen here again just for the sake of argument and he moves his knight here and he's attacking your queen again and you can see you have helped him to develop two of his pieces whereas you are moving your queen back and forth so it the opening it is better not to develop your queen too early and coming to the most important point point number six what do you do if your opponent does not follow the opening principles let me just give you an example and this was a game which I witnessed in person. So let us go ahead and look at a game between uh, two 12 year olds. The person who played white is now at 2100 and the person who played black went on to become a GM. But this game was played when they were 12 years of age. So let's go ahead and look at this game. So in this game white played e4, black played e5, white played knight f3, black played d6. Black is playing the Philidor's defense and white plays d4 and white is trying to occupy the center with his pawns and black plays knight d7 white continued developing with knight c3 and black played bishop e7 over here and white played bishop c4 and in this position black realized that if he brought his knight to f6 then white can do a move like bishop takes f7 check and the king takes on f7 and white has this nice move knight g5 and here black cannot go to king e8 or king f8 because knight e6 is coming so black is forced to go to king g6 or king g8 and in either case white would play knight e6 and the queen has to go to e8 and white would have a fork by capturing on c7 and both the rook and the queen are under attack so black noticed this and he thought why should i allow the knight to h5 so let me get rid of this problem once and for all by pushing my pawn to h6 and here black made a huge mistake by pushing the pawn to h6 you can see that he is violating the opening principles he's not developing his minor pieces and he is playing a pawn move and so this impedes his development so why to play why to play and punish black so in general cases what do you do if your opponent does not follow the opening principles? You have to open up the center and you have to attack him in the center of the board because that is where his king is. So the move 
played by white or I should say the winning move played by white over here is d takes e5. Doesn't look too shocking and black has two options. Black can do knight takes e5 or d takes e5. So first let's see what happened in the game. In the game black just responded with d takes e5 and he thought everything was normal. But suddenly in comes the stunning move which is queen to d5. And suddenly black realized that the pawn on f7 is under attack and there is no way to defend the pawn. So in this position black resigned right away. So let me just go back a few moves. You might be wondering what happens if knight takes e5 and black would be okay after that. But knight takes e5 still is not a good move because white would continue knight takes knight. Black would do pawn takes knight and white has this move queen h5. And the queen is attacking the pawn on f7 and the pawn on e5. So again the only possible move to defend the pawn on f7 would be to play a move like g6. Bishop e6 is not possible because white can just do bishop takes bishop. And there is a pin on the king. So the pawn cannot recapture. Let me remove the arrows. And after queen h5 the only possible move to defend f7 is by playing pawn to g6. And then you capture on e5 and you are attacking the rook on h8. And if the rook goes to h7 or if black plays knight f6, white wins the game by playing knight d5. And knight d5 threatens the knight on f6, threatens the bishop on e7 and also attacks the pawn on c7. And black is unable to defend all of these. And black is definitely losing some material. Let me go back and just, just to reiterate, you can see that white followed the opening principles. White brought both his pawns towards the center. White developed his knights towards the center as well. And white brought his bishop out. Whereas black did not follow the opening principles. He delayed the development of his knight and he pushed the pawn to h6. And he was justly punished by opening up the center, attacking the king. The moment queen d5 was played, there is no way to defend ourselves. Here's a quick recap of all the points that we discussed. First, occupy the center with the pawns. Second, you develop your minor pieces towards the center. Third, you castle as quickly as possible. Fourth, do not move the same piece twice in the opening unnecessarily, unless you are forced to. Fifth point, do not bring your queen out too early in the opening because your opponent's pieces can attack it and they can use it to develop. And last and most important point, what do you do if your opponent does not follow the opening principles? You need to punish him by opening up the center and attacking his game. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. If you learned something useful from this video, please hit the like button. And for watching more such videos, please click on the subscribe button over here. Thank you.